In this video, we're going to look at chapter 14, which focuses on chemical equilibrium. So we're going to start out with an introduction to equilibrium. We're going to look at what defines an equilibrium condition, uh, how to calculate equilibrium concentrations and the number of moles. And um, we're going to also look at how to write equilibrium expressions, uh, looking at a balanced reaction and what, what a, um, the equilibrium constant is. In the second part, we're going to look at a variety of different example problems um, where we can uh, use the equilibrium constant to determine the amounts of products and reactants that are formed to predict, to predict if a mixture is at equilibrium or if it will favor the forward or reverse reaction. Uh, we'll also look at um, working with calculating equilibrium concentrations. And then um, in sort of an extension of that, we're going to look at the Chatelier's principle, which is can we predict the influence of uh, adding or subtracting reactants or products on whether a reaction will shift in the forward or reverse direction? So we're going to look at perturbing equilibria and seeing how we what will happen with that. And then the last thing we'll look at is equilibrium and catalysts. So um, really, Le Chatelier's principle sort of starts to deal with temperature, but then uh, temperature and kinetics. And then when we get into equilibrium and catalysts, we'll really look at um, some more stuff with kin kinetics and equilibria. So online, there's a variety of resources that you can find in the chapter 14 um, folder, which accompanies this uh, module. So uh, for chapter 14, we have the drill questions, uh, which are just some multiple choice practice questions. We have the slides um, that you'll see in throughout the videos in this. Uh, we have a couple of lecture problem solutions. We have uh, lecture problems one, four, and five, and seven. We have this extra practice uh, on determining equilibrium concentrations. That's a small little worksheet because that's one of the most common types of problems that you'll see. I, I believe a video accompanies it. And then we also have, because we have the exam coming after this section, we have the exam practice problems all worked out, which will also be done in a video, but this provides a, a sheet which has all the solutions to those practice problems.